didn't just up kind of film a video for you guys. I'm tired. It's two o'clock in the morning. It's two o'clock in the morning, but I'm up. So. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. I'm gonna be helping out my aspiring YouTubers. <laughs> So hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. You are welcome. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, that notification bell to be notified every time I post a video. So first of all, my name is Lundle Jemmy, but this channel is called Gemini Baby for now because I'm a Gemini, so like. Clap if you care. <laughs> clap, if you, clap if you care. So I post vlogs, hair videos, challenges, so I post everything and anything. I haven't niched down. I'm still trying to like find myself and what I like. So if that's your cup of tea, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell to be notified every time I post a video. And join the family. I'm gonna be helping out my aspiring YouTubers now. Mostly I like thinking Laura. You have a big beaver, so like what do you do about? Like Wait, come up here and I'm going to do like, I don't know, like 500k subscribers. <laughs> so guys, do not take this the wrong way. I'm here to help out those YouTubers that are like really finding it difficult to research. I know a lot of you are lazy to do research. I feel like people are just discouraged by doing the research. So I'm here to help you out, sis. I've broken down every step or everything you could possibly need to start a youtube channel so i'll be focusing mainly on helping out my android users so if you feel like you're that type of youtuber then go ahead and stay tuned and get ready for this sweet short and nice video that will tell you everything and anything you need to know about starting a youtube channel okay guys so on this week's video i will be focusing mainly on four key points you need to know when you are about to start a youtube channel so what i will address today is i'm going to be telling you guys the type of equipment you will need as you start your youtube channel the setup and lighting your sources of lighting and what your setup should look like i'm going to be telling you guys editing apps you will need when you are an ad, um, android smartphone user who is planning on starting a youtube channel and then i'm going to lastly be telling you or showing you guys how you actually upload the video onto youtube so first of all i'm gonna jump straight into it if you feel like i am going astray with anything that i say in this video please kindly feel free to comment down in the comment section to correct me i'm someone that doesn't like critique so if you are going to correct me go ahead and nicely in the most nicest possible way <laughs> correct me in the comment section so stop blabbing and let's get straight into it so first of all equipment so the equipment you will use number one is your android smartphone okay so that's the number one you don't need an expensive um camera you do not need cameras that cost like 5k they do help but i feel like it shouldn't restrict you or be a setback for me starting actually starting a youtube channel so you will need your android smartphone um then if you have money you can use your camera you can use your expensive whatever but what i use is a canon small type camera and sometimes i use my phone so this shows that you can actually use your phone to film your video so you want to make sure to go to your settings and then you will look for your video dimensions so your video dimension should range between 240p and 1080p now this is the video size that is um, recommended for your youtube video so you don't have to stress yourself out a lot about the, these things just go to your settings look for video dimensions and then just um correct those dimensions make sure it's between 240p and 1080p now i do not want you to stress over the video quality okay so just use your smart um android smartphone and then you just don't have to worry about your video quality all you need actually need for a good video is good lighting which i'll talk about later on in this video so you don't have to stress a lot about this i just decided to put it there it shouldn't confuse you 
don't get confused. Don't even let it it's just you. And then moving on to equipment number two is your balancing thingy. Now, I did not know what to call it, but it's maybe your stand where you will place your video, I mean your camera or your phone in this case, your phone because I'm focusing on my Android to be YouTubers. So, sis, I myself do not have a tripod. I do not have any, any type of stand I use to place my camera or my phone. So what I do use is I stack up my books. <laughs> To help as a stand now I'm doing this because I'm not rich I don't have money to be investing right now and I'm a small youtuber so for now I'm not um, putting in a lot of money in the equipment that I use so maybe later on in the future when I see growth when I see you know numbers then I'll invest in a tripod but if you feel like you're financially stable you can invest in a tripod which I will show over there or you can use your selfie stick for when you're vlogging or just ask your brother or sister or friend to be a cameraman. What I'm trying to do here is to show you guys that you have no excuse not to start that YouTube channel. Okay, you have no excuse. You just really need to be creative and do not restrict your creativity. Do not make excuses. Do not. So what I also use is the wind shield is that windshield or window so i don't know so i place my phone over there and then start filming film my video and then post you don't need expensive things but if you have money go ahead and invest this okay so we're gonna move on to number two vital things you need as you start your youtube channel so this is set up and lighting now the most efficient and cheapest source of light and lighting is sunlight okay <laughs> do not even stress yourself about buying a ring lights about buying you know your led lights those are expensive so if you're a starter up youtuber like myself you can just use natural light um so you want to make sure in a room i think your room would work my room works so you want to make sure that you're in a room where your, the lights, the natural light is falling on your face so that people see you in the video. No one wants to watch a dark video where they can't even see your face. People will click off the video. So you want to make sure that there's a light coming in. And then if you want to film maybe at night, like myself, like I'm doing right now because I cannot sleep and I have nothing better to do because I have no life. I am using these LED lights I got at a ridiculous price. So I got these lights from an LED shop in Bavani where I stay. I don't know if they have in Manzini, but you can go check them out. I got this light thingy. It's like a line strand type of thing. It's two meters long. It was only 70 bucks. So what I'm trying to tell you is that if you really want to do this YouTube thing, you will find means that are very cheap to help you progress in your YouTube journey, okay? Don't make excuses. Do not make excuses. Okay, so the other piece of equipment is your sound um, system or whatever. So if you are a startup YouTuber, you can simply use the sound system that is already on your phone. You don't have to stress yourself a lot about that. Um, if you want your video quality to be a bit better, you can use. I think I'm well. You can use your phone recorder. Now I've seen this to be the most efficient, most easiest, most cheapest. So this is what I use. So you're just gonna gonna import the sound you recorded, which I'm doing right now. I'm recording on my phone what I'm saying because I can't speak too loud because everyone's asleep. So you wanna just import that into you wherever you're going to be editing your video and then easy but then if you have money you can invest in a mic in your small mic so those black ones they put over there you can invest in those i'm not sure where they sell them but if you are a youtuber you will find them <laughs> but as of now i myself do not own any type of mic any type of sound thing that enhances my 
you know voice or you know sounds i want to be enhanced i use my phone recorder which is very very cheap okay don't stress yourself out there is no need as and then for your filming environment you want to focus on finding a place that is not too busy now for my first video if you've never seen it go ahead and check it out it's super cringy it's like the worst thing i've ever made in my life go check it out so on that video my background was super busy it was super distracting so fortunately i had friends that were there to give me critique and help me out so they told me my background was super distracting so people quickly clicked out of the video because they were confused as to whether they should be looking at me or the background so you want to make sure your background is super neutral um like today there's nothing happening it's just green wall or blue i don't know what the color is uh yeah it's not distracting you guys are focusing on me so that's what you are going for when you are looking for an environment to film in you can do this in your room you can do this wherever you feel it's neutral and not to busy so if you're an aesthetic person you can simply like decorate your wall but don't make it too hectic <laughs> just make it super neat super simplistic and to just reflect the kind of person you are so i'm working on doing that for my room because i really want to show you guys what type of things i'm into this plain thing going on is not my type of thing it's like super it's driving me crazy because i need some art or something going on but if you feel like you don't like, you know, super busy things, then go ahead and focus on a neutral place, which is not distracting, not too busy, and yeah, to help your viewers focus on you. So my third point today is editing apps. Now I'm going to be giving you guys a list of editing apps my Android users, YouTubers to be can use now. There are loads of of um apps you can use but i picked out the most used ones on youtube apps that are most used by android users youtubers android youtubers <laughs> if that even makes sense so the first one is kind master i've seen it a lot it's predominant on youtube um some of y'all may be worried about the watermarks but i feel like if you provide a content uh, and are making sure that your viewers are really really like condensed <laughs> into what you are saying then i feel like a watermark is really not a big of a deal and then we have vidmates we have love you we have viva video we have movie maker we have filmigo so if you want more you can just simply google it and then just make your life easy and stop making excuses and then if you're like myself and like editing on your laptop you can use this app I use it's called Filmora 9 um the pro no it's just Filmora 9 so if you have money <laughs> you can invest in soft editing softwares like Final Cut Pro these cost like 5k and I'm not allowed to spend that much money <laughs> when I just have 200 subscribers okay so just do that edit your video make it nice and sweet Put those uh, moments, you know, enhance them. If you're not a funny person like myself, you need those background sounds and those short clips, okay? Because if I didn't put those clips, you guys would see how awkward and weird I am. So, yes. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and find these editing apps, okay? okay and then lastly, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually post or upload your video on youtube so this is basically what you're gonna be doing okay guys so when you are about to record or when you want to record your youtube video you need two specific apps if you're gonna upload on your android phone you will need the actual youtube um app and then you will need youtube studio right so when you're about to upload you'll go straight into your youtube app right will open that up and then you will go you will click on your um, youtube icon press your channel and then press that um small camera icon on the on the top right corner right there and then okay okay so then you will see your videos and then you pick any video you would like so i'll just pick a random video over there 
and then this is the space where you will optimize optimization meaning that you'll put your title the description of your video because people do not want to watch a video they do not know what is going to go on in the video so you want to make sure that happens optimize and whatever and then when you're done you'll just click that upload um icon over there which i will not do right now because i'm not uploading a video so that's basically how you upload your video okay so that is how you upload your video but if you are a pc user then i suggest you go look for a tutorial because i'm not about to explain all that but it's pretty easy so but i will not be explaining it on the end of the video so don't make youtube such a complicated thing it's not just put in your personality put in your real self and honestly it's gonna turn out good you will not blow up the second you come in maybe you will maybe you won't but do not expect results quickly i'm still waiting on that day just to get that video you know <laughs> but honestly i'm content with my growth i feel like it's okay it's healthy i'm not rushing anywhere i'm just expressing myself you know through videos and as i grow i'm grow as i go i'm growing so do not rush the process just take your time breathe and stop the youtube channel okay so <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe comment and click that notification bell to be notified every time i post a video so thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you guys on my next video so bye